So in tonight's video we are going to be doing some feeding. Uh, just going to start the tractor now firstly and then we'll move on and start to, to fill the feed up before feeding the cattle themselves. So we'll get everything started up initially and we'll work from there. <laughs> So, first things first, uh, we get the 20 and 50 and the feed out into place and just keep an eye on that just so we know exactly where the camera is pointing at and uh, I think it's not too bad, it should be able to see fairly well. So yeah, going to reverse back out and first thing we put into the feed up is uh, we have some syrup we have to put in, so we'll reverse round and just get her underneath the syrup, the syrup tank. I should be able to get her in fairly easily now with the mirrors. Now, that should do us there roughly, I think. Should be okay. I think we can turn off the lights for the minute. So it's fairly simple, there's a lever that we just flick, turn on, and then we have we have syrup then that comes out. I'll just point the camera up there. So you see the syrup coming out of the tank itself. Uh, tank is running fairly low. Depending on depending on what value is what's usually in the tank. So sometimes we have some of those uh, like a molasses, sometimes it's like a pot ale syrup, it just all depends. Uh, what's available and what's a bit of value. So uh, at the moment we are feeding a pot ale syrup, but they, it is very hard to get. Now, so we're just coming near the, the amount where we need to stop it now, and we get our stop. So it's just a matter of just tap the lever, it's nothing fancy, just simple enough lever valve, and uh, once she's full, that's just done. So uh, just reset. Reset the camera so you can see what we're doing. Uh, we get the tracker into place. Just a matter now to get the grain into it first. Uh, first thing we'll go with is the barley. So we put in uh, there is 300 kilos of barley goes into the diet feeder firstly. Uh, it's a fairly simple ration: barley, uh, wheat, uh, maize meal. Uh, we've got straw, minerals and uh, some silage and potatoes. And I'll just measure this out. So, that's 300 kilos of barley in. Uh, next up, we'll get the maize meal. Uh, 
250 kgs of maize meal goes in on this feed.
So just as I'm waiting for that to mix, just gonna hook on the load of potatoes and I'll tip them. I have all the ones, that, the, the last few remaining uh, potatoes that was on the pile. They are now, uh, they are now uh, just, we scooped them up, I just left them uh, towards the front of where these potatoes are gonna be tipped. Uh, so somehow to get reversed in here now and we're trying to get hooked on. Now, uh, into this one handed, so it's not the simplest. I probably should have stuck it to the window. So we're latched in. So what we'll do is we'll just get over and get into place. I'll get the hoses connected and uh, yeah, set the can. Just set the camera down outside then for when I'm tipping the tipping the feed out. So it shouldn't only take a couple of minutes, and we'll have it all done in the same time that the the diet feeder will take to to do a little bit of mixing.
Now, so feeding is finished and you can see now uh, these are the first ones that were fed. Some of them is actually starting to lay down now, so they're well relaxed. Uh, the feed, it's a nice, 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 lovely feed. Uh, the bit of syrup in it leaves it a wee bit moist. Uh, there's plenty of straw in it, plenty of fibre. There's, uh, they're getting roughly about a kilo of, of fibre almost. It's just less than a kilo. They're probably a little more than what they'd need, but uh, it, it, it does stand to them. Um, the feed in total silage contains about three kilos per head of silage. Uh, they're getting about eight kilos, about eight kilos of of meal uh, per head. And potatoes is a little bit different for each lot. Uh, the, there's bullocks here and heifers on this side, and the bullocks is getting the bullocks and heifers are both getting about around eight kilos, eight to nine kilos. Of potatoes per head, it's around eight. I think it's about eight point six or seven. It's working out at. Uh, and then the bulls over this side, the bulls are getting, they're getting almost twelve kilos of potatoes. Uh, and then everything else is roughly around the same. So, yeah, they're doing, they're doing well. There's, there's some of the bulls we'll be, we'll be sending next week. Uh, the tops of them, there's about ten we're going to send next week. Uh, we've pulled out three of the larger ones out of this pen. And uh, they weighed seven twenty-five kilos, seven forty kilos, and those one was like seven ninety-five kilos. So yeah, they are doing well. Uh, probably do, they were the biggest of them. So uh, we'll start to we'll start to pick off some of the other ones. That once once they reach around seven hundred kilos, uh, we'd like to be maybe just hanging them up around seven around seven twenty because after that. They'll start to go over the 400 kilo mark, and you'll end up getting caught on them. So, but they are they are doing well. They're thriving well on the feed. Uh, so that's really it. Uh, I'll do a quick walk around on the on the bottom cattle shed as well. Uh, so it's all bulls on this side here, and then over the side then we've bulls, uh, oh, sorry bullocks and heifers. So uh, right, we we'll go down to the bottom shed and we'll just have a quick look at those as well. So these are, as I said. On the same feed, uh, heifers on this side, these are the ones I was washing last week, for anyone who's seen that video. Um, yeah, they, these are doing well, there's a lovely, lovely couple of pens of heifers here, doing very well. Uh, we haven't weighed any of them yet, but that'll be coming soon. We'll be hoping to maybe start to kill some of these. Uh, it'll not be this month, it'll be into next month. Um, but they are, they're, 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 driving on, they're driving on very well. So the, as I said, the heifers and the bullocks are all on the same on the same feed and ration, and roughly eating the same amount. Hey, there's there's nothing really in the difference in what the bullock is eating and the and the heifers, whereas the bulls hey, they're eating that bit more. Their intake hey, the intake of the bulls is about 20. It's over 28 kilos a day per head hey, total of total mixed ration, whereas the the heifers is around 24. So there is a little bit of a difference in it. Um, but yeah, look, if you'd expect that, they're, uh, they, the bulls, they're that bit bigger and they'll thrive that bit more, they'll convert on that bit more, uh, that bit more weight as well, so that's it, that's uh, the feeding, the feeding video, I've been trying to do that for the last month or so since about Christmas, so I just said this evening I'd take a bit of footage and try and get it squeezed all in together, so it'll be quite a long video I think, or reasonably long. Um, so that's really about it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the sub button, uh, throw a like on the video if you enjoyed it and leave a comment down below if you have any questions or any comments to make or anything you would like to know. Um, yeah that's really it. Uh, until tomorrow, hope you have a good evening and we'll see you then.